Hello everyone, my name is Arushi and I work as a DevOps evangelist in Devtron Labs. In this video, we are going to see the flow of how to deploy a simple Node.js application through your Devtron dashboard. You can also find a well-formatted documentation about the setup in the Devtron's official docs. Link will also be present in the description of the video below. So before deploying your application, make sure your global configurations are successfully set up and validated. If not, you can refer to the video in the description for setting them up. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Firstly, you need to log in into your DevDrawn dashboard and click on Applications tab over here. This page will list down all the applications deployed uh, through your DevDrawn dashboard. So to create or to add a new app, click on create new app, choose a custom app uh, which will connect a git repository and uh, will deploy a custom application. Now here uh, provide an app name, I will give this app name as node test, select the project in which you want to keep your app in. Below it, uh, you can choose which type of app you want to create. A blank app is the one which is having no configurations, a fresh app. Further, if you have a scenario of creating an app which is very similar to an existing app which is already deployed through DevTron, you can select it and clone all the configurations and then you can customize it accordingly. Well, I'll be using a blank app over here. Click on create app and your application has been created. Now here are multiple configurations that you need to do. First one is entering the appropriate GitHub repo where the application source code is present. Here we select a particular Git account. The values in the drop down will be the ones which you have already added in the global configurations part. So I have GitHub public which I will be choosing and here you need to enter the git repo URL I have my repo over here and copy paste it also you can uh, set the checkout paths here if you have a requirement of using multiple git repos for example if your source code is in one repo and the configs are in the another one you can um, make use of this and if you have and want to use any sub uh, modules present in your repo you can click this checkbox uh, below which will pull the sub modules recursively now save neck and move to the next configuration next coming up is setting up the docker build configs in this you need to choose the container registry in which you want to keep your CI build images. I have a QA registry already added named as Devtron QA. Now I have to give my container registry in which I want to keep my CI application. Here the checkout path is dot slash, which means that the Docker file should be on the root directory of the GitHub repo. So that is it. I will save the configurations and move to the next one. Now configuring a deployment template is next and the most important step. Here Devtron already provides you with a predefined one as you can see below. So now we'll move to the top. So here you can select the appropriate chart type and the chart version. Well, Devtron keeps on releasing new chart versions with added features in every two to three months. So make sure you use the latest chart version uh, to be able to use all the features. Now to keep this demo a little simple, I will be only covering those configurations which are required by my application. To know about the rest, you can uh, surely have a look on the Devtron's official docs from the link above so let's set my configurations so firstly we'll be setting up the container port 
Now my Node.js application is already running on 8080 port, so I'll keep this port as 80 and the service port will by default be as 80. Now if we we'll move down here you can enable auto scaling if you want. I'm enabling it. Further moving down we have to uh, set our resource limits and request. I'm setting 0.5 core CPU as a limit and 0.1 core CPU as request. Keep the memory as it is. And lastly, I will change the type of my service. I'll make this as load balancer. And that's it. Save. And your configurations are saved. We'll click and move to the next one. So next coming up is creating the workflow for application. Or in simple words, if I say setting up the CI CD pipeline, so uh, by clicking on new pipeline, uh, you can see the CI pipeline can be created in three ways in which the first one is the continuous integration, which will simply fetch code from your respective repo, will build the CI image and deploy it to your chosen environment. Second is the link CI pipeline, uh, which can be uh, used when you have uh, when multiple microservices will be using same type of image. And the last one is an incoming webhook, which gives you a functionality of external CI feature, which means you have your CI set up somewhere else. For example, it can be Jenkins and then you want to deploy your application using Devtron. So then you can use this. I can use this one. So I'll be selecting uh, continuous integration. Now here you have to select uh, the source uh, type from the drop down. We will be using branch fixed which will fetch your code from a single branch. And to use pull request and tag creation you need to configure a webhook uh, which I won't be covering in this video. So my branch is master from which I want to fetch my code. If I click on advanced options you get multiple options so multiple uh, things to configure i want to execute this pipeline automatic you can also choose manual and here the pre-build stages and the post-build stages uh, can be used if you want to execute something before your uh, image has been built and after your image has been built so you can add um, some stages and if you want to give any environment specific build arguments, uh, you can use Docker uh, build uh, section from here. So I'm not using any of this as of now. I'll create the pipeline. Now we'll add the deployment pipeline. Here, you, here I have to select the environment in which I want to deploy my app on. And here's to select the multi uh, select the deployment strategy be selecting it as rolling and here I want to set my CD pipeline as manual so by clicking on the advanced option I want to execute it as manual I'll be clicking on manual create pipeline and your CI CD workflow has been created now let's trigger our CI pipeline by going on this build and deploy option select material uh, select your select your code over here and start the build and while our uh, ci pipeline uh, is being executed let's get back to the app configuration section and see how you can add or create config maps and secrets over here so if i click on config maps to add a config map click on config map over here and here you can uh, have uh, two types which is a kubernetes config map and a kubernetes external config map so i will be using a kubernetes one and i'll be giving a name and i want to use this config map as environment 
variable so i will be selecting as environment variable and giving something in key value pairs and i'll save the config map and can uh, repeat the same process for adding the secret give the secret a name and something in key value pair so these values entered here will be automatically mounted with the pod and will be made available either as volumes or as environment variables as per your selection so we have added our config maps and secret and let's see if our ci has been successfully built we'll go on the details section and you can see if our logs are here or not so our image has been built and it is being pushed to the respective repository and as you can see our ci has been successfully triggered now we'll go back and trigger our cd pipeline so select the image from here and click on deploy now go on the app detail section to check the status of your deployment and we can see it's in the progressing state now here on the left hand side you can uh, see all the kubernetes application objects which are being created so in the workload section we have replica sets which are still in the progressing state and pods in the networking section uh, we have service and endpoints in the config and storage section we have secret and the config map and in the custom resource there is endpoint slice rollout and horizontal pod auto scaler so also you can uh, see the manifest of these objects by clicking on manifest over here the events are also seen you can also see the logs and let's use the grep command over here to filter out our search working also you can get the access of terminal it is still in the connecting state and the terminal is connected so let's print our environment uh, variables which we have previously entered yeah, so you can see our environment variables are printed over here and now let's test our application if it is successfully running or not go to the networking tab and in the service section go to the manifest and we'll take the load balancer url from here and let's hit it and yes our application is successfully deployed and these are few apis which i'm trying to hit and yes our application is successfully running 